you've heard by now that these housemates have lost their first wager of the season. But here's the tea. That is not the drama of the evening. Not at all. That is not the drama. The drama are biggest two disruptors, Taki and Neo. What? Guys, wherever Biggie found those two people, <laughs> they deserve an Oscar because their pretense skill is insane. Jesus. Guys, see ya. I'm not even going to waste your time, but I'm just really baffled. I am baffled. I can't wait to share. All right? So please, make sure you watch this video to the end. Do not skip out. If you skip, you miss out. Yeah. So watch this video to the end. There's a lot to spill, even with regards to the other housemates' uh, presentation. <laughs> Some people literally flopped. Some people's performance was zero, while some was excellent so i'm going to tell you all about it and by the ways um it might seem as though we might be having a pool party tonight so stay tuned to my channel i'm going to be giving you loads and loads of tea yes either tonight or first thing in the morning because there's a lot to spill okay and um you are all especially welcome to my youtube channel my name is gloria elijah this is frankly speaking with gloria elijah and i am the girl with the tea. For those of you that are newly subscribed, thank you so much for choosing to join this community. If you are yet to, please go ahead, do exactly what you see on your screen. Now quickly, let's proceed with the details of this video. Now, as I mentioned, yes, the housemates lost their wager. And if I'm going to be very frank with all of you, I would tell you that personally, I did not think they deserved to lose. But remember, Biggie is playing a game with the housemates. So it's part of the whole trick, the whole twist, and you know, all the crazy things that should happen this season. I mean, remember, we had our expectations, and Biggie is meeting up with our expectations. And guys, I am super grateful for it because it's spicing up the whole show. I mean, hey, today's just day four, like officially day four, and there's been so much happening, so much drama courtesy of big brother so yes biggie thank you <laughs> let them be hungry for some days because these housemates have been eating like gluttons so me cannot wait to see how hungry they get in big brother's house yes i like that kind of twist but here's what happened right here's what happened now if you've been following the progression of my videos and all of my analysis you would have been informed by now that the housemates losing their wager tonight has been a set plan between big brother and his disruptors from last night. In fact, not even last night, from the, um, from the diary session yesterday. Taki and Fahima had their diary session and Big Brother had given Taki the instructions, yes. Now remember, they were to hide some of the housemates avatars, bring it out later on. Now, it was today that I realized that that first layer of the mission was to demoralize the housemates, you know, was to sort of shake them up and get them distracted from the actual goal of the presentation. Now, there was a second layer added today. I did an entire video giving you all the tea about that one. So if you missed out, please go ahead and check it out. But I'm just going to give you a hint anyways. Now, um, the hint was for the disruptors to do whatever it takes to disrupt their presentation. Yes, the wager task presentation to ensure that they cost chaos yes now also informed all of you that fahima had been sort of hesitant yeah she had sort of hesitated from you know taking up big brother's instructions because for her she's you know working towards being a better person and guys frankly speaking i was really pissed because i'm like what is wrong with all of these individuals i mean she totally reminded me of once again, Modella, and once again, Rachel this time around. You know, if you all recall Rachel from the Big Brother Niger level up season, Rachel was one of Big Brother's writers. She knew what she was sent into the house to do. But later on, she started wanting to be a real housemate. She started acting like, um, no, it was a right to be a part of the housemates and a part of the competition, I mean. You know, so it became quite upsetting quite upsetting and she became a bit obsessive about you know being a real housemate it was it was just an, an eyesore on the show yes so Fahima sort of gave off that type of energy today and was really annoying so it had taken Taki to convince her to go with the flow and yeah she has snapped back into reality that oh yeah she's gonna do her best but guess what 
Tonight, during the presentation, Fahima was literally just doing everything right. She was not doing what Big Brother had instructed them as disruptors to do. Now, there was Niyo. Oh my goodness, this girl. Oh, okay. See, eh, I believe I'm 100% now about her being an actress because she had actually said to Big Brother during her diary session on Tuesday that she's very skilled in being deceptive and pretentious. She's very good at faking things. People don't see her coming. She's very unpredictable. And that was exactly what she displayed tonight. When it was her turn to speak about herself, she was acting like she had selective amnesia at some point. No, for a start. And then when it was time for her to showcase her talent in one minute, she was like, <sighs> it was that wretched. Well, guys, you could feel the wail. It was like it came from her soul. Disruptor. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. This girl was like, <gasps> I'm like, what the fuck? Initially, I didn't really understand what was going on. But then I saw the fact that she was hiding her face. She didn't want anybody to see her face, right? And of course, some of her housemates, they ran to her, you know, to go and console her, i.e. Palessa. Palessa ran to go and hug her. I'm like, it's okay, it's okay. And she was like, <gasps> and she was rubbing her eyes. I guess as she was rubbing her eyes, eh? The eyes were turning red. Water was coming out. I said, Jesus Christ. <laughs> nah, that was an Oscar deserving performance that she put up right there. It was insane. It was so unpredictable. Guys, nah, that was, that was excellent. When it was Taki's turn for his individual presentation, he had actually, you know, not done it confidently. And I knew at that point in time that, okay, this guy was bracing himself for the real impact, yes. Now, before we get to the real impact, there was Fahima's turn and Fahima did her as well. And she actually gave a song, like she did a song and the song was quite nice but i was disappointed because i'm like girl we don't want to see your talent the talent you have on this show is your mission as a disruptor your ability to excellently execute your mission this season it's gonna really announce you even more than any other type of talent that you're carrying on your head that you want to show us what's the fuss so I was disappointed and I was kind of looking forward to her doing more chaos, like causing more chaos during their collective um, performance. But guys, once again, she did well. She didn't disrupt anything, but Taki actually did a major disruption. And it sort of unsettled some of the housemates, but it just carried on with the performance. Now guys, rating everything overall, I personally felt like they should have still won their wager, right? But Biggie just wanted to do what Biggie had to do. And I'm glad that Biggie did not sway from his original intentions here. Yeah. But I was really disappointed in Fahima. And I just felt like, girl, you came into the Big Brother's house with so much potential to give us a show, entertain us, and cause chaos. Those are your missions for this season. So why are you getting your feelings? Why? But anyways, aside the disruptors and their classic and non-classic acts, um, there were other housemates that really stood out tonight. It was insane, guys. I'm going to begin with Mac Jr. And Jr. introduced himself, although he was talking too much. Yeah, he kept on using South African vernacular and it was kind of boring. But when he got to his own talent show, oh my God. This guy gave us some serious lines. This guy was dropping some hot, hot lines. We've been here for five days. I'm collecting my bag in 66. I'm collecting my bag in 66. BBM's no fun, shorty, you dumb. They catch you slipping a second, shorty, you done. Snake slid in silence, we can strike. The reincarnation of Hitler back at the right. And the housemates were literally craning their ears to hear the lyrics. And if you listen properly, this guy was passing a message to the housemates and us, the viewers. He was telling everybody that he's there till the last day that he's gonna win the money that he looks quiet but he's not quiet because he's coming for everybody if he cannot take the heat get out of the kitchen <laughs> guys i'm like what <laughs> no, 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 no. guys no 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 when it was when it was rapping i'm like yo yo <laughs> i was just saying yo because that was so unexpected however However, 
I was kind of worried for him because this is someone that claims to be very unassuming, you know, he knows how to camouflage, but I feel like he's been revealing too much of himself this past two days. And I feel like he's actually giving ammunition to his fellow housemates and warning them ahead that, hey, I'm coming for you, I'm doing that. And it's a good thing, but I feel like it's also not so good because one way or the other, someone like Yolanda who is out for blood, <laughs> She just might take him out of the game. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. Now, other housemates that really impressed me were Bravo B. Now, you know, Bravo, Bravo B is not very coherent. Yeah, I'm going to be honest with all of you. Most of the time when he speaks, I really struggle to understand. Yeah, he's not very fluent with the English language. English is not his mother tongue. So I don't blame him. But sometimes it's difficult to even understand. But... His talent show, wow, that was amazing. He gave us um, a spoken word poetry performance and that was amazing, guys. I loved it. Now, that was also Yolanda. Yolanda sort of told the line and came from the angle that Mac Jr. took. She as well was sending a direct message to everybody. This model can do anything. Do not mess with me. I always get what I want. Woo! Always goes for what she wants. Guys, it was so spicy. It was a feline energy. I loved it. But while she was giving her presentation, Lerato had this stank look on her face. Lerato was looking at her like this. I'm like, wow, if looks could kill, <laughs> there will be a million daggers right now behind Yolanda's back. I'm like, Lerato, chill. Chill. You can't stand this girl, you can't stand this girl, you can't stand this girl. Chill. Milay was another housemate that dropped some serious rap lines. And guys, I literally stood up my sofa. And I was happy now because she was damn good. What? Yeah, she was really good. Millet, oh my god, Millet, see if Millet drops a diss track today at anybody, I will buy it. Because what she was selling tonight on that stage, it was incredible. We know that Millet tends to be very, very quiet sometimes and more of an introvert in the house. But um, when this girl started, I'm like, Aiba, give me more, give me more. Ladies and gentlemen, it was crazy and i loved it yes it was like a competition between herself and mac Junior, and the camera was on mac Junior's face i was just laughing <laughs> but that was really good um mali tried but i didn't really feel it because i was kind of lost somewhere now um jari guys i put out a question on twitter asking that please what is jari's talent because i don't know what the guy did tonight i was lost I don't know if that was attempted comedy, attempted stand-up comedy, or if he was just plainly nervous, or he's just an awkwardly shy person on the stage. I don't know, I'm lost. But whatever Jerry gave tonight, I'm definitely not buying. Mm -mm. I am not buying because mm -mm. he did not cook it properly. That's the best I can put. He did not cook it properly. I'm not buying. Papa Ghost. Papa Ghost. He kind of impressed and did not impress me. Now, we know that Papa Ghost is the one that carried this whole project on his head. And quite frankly, I was expecting him to be the most excellent housemate. I know I'm not being fair in my expectation of him, but come on, what do you expect from someone that is always hammering on excellence? So his description and, you know, explanation of the details of his avatar was quite apt. I loved it. For me, it was the best of the evening. Yeah. It was the best. Everything had some major beautiful symbols, like significance rather, and I loved it. But when it came to his rap, nah, that was drab. Very unimpressive. That was drab. And he kind of looked shocked that Mac Jr. even did better than him. I'm like, yes, it's good. Sometimes your ego should be watered down. Always know that there's always someone around you that could even do better. Yeah. So anyway, I was kind of glad that he flopped because if that guy had been perfect trust me nobody would hear the last of it in the house tonight yes and then finally of course liema and sinai these two people individually and as a pair they killed their 
performance and I loved it. Liema is an amazing singer with a beautiful voice and the performance tonight was just simply amazing. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to stop talking here right now. Yes, um, go ahead, let me know your thoughts about the housemate wager task presentation of tonight. And I'm going to give you guys details of the pool party on another video. Thanks for watching. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. I'll see you guys soon. Hi.